had the amazing opportunity to get Jedi Battle Scars early and I read it in literally one day. Like I got it. I had to wait until after I was done with some work to read it. And then I sat down and I read it all. I, I stayed up till 1 a.m. to finish this book uh, because I enjoyed it that much. Uh, the official release date for this book is this upcoming Tuesday, which is in four days on March 7th. Uh, so if you haven't pre-ordered it and you want to, please, please do that right now because it's freaking amazing. Um, that being said, I'm about to give you a spoiler-free review of this book to kind of help you if you're on the fence about reading it or just really excited to read it and want to get a little bit more detail about it before you dive in. Let's talk about it. So this book is obviously about the crew of the Stinger Mantis. We have Cal Kestis, Sergenda, Gris Dritas, and obviously our favorite Night Sister Marin. It follows the crew through an adventure to spite the Empire, uh, and it takes place in between Jedi Fallen Order and the new game that's coming out in April, Jedi Survivor. The fun thing about this story is that it switches points of view throughout. So you're not just following Cal's mindset on the mission. You get to see the mindset of every single member of the crew. And I would be lying if I didn't say that Grease's chapters are some of my absolute favorites. <laughs> So while this book does follow all of the members of the Mantis crew, the main member that I think gets the most character development and is one of my favorite parts of this story is Night Sister Marin. We haven't really gotten to see a lot of Night Sister Marin in the advertising. Well, we haven't seen her at all in the advertising for Jedi Survivor. So it's kind of cool to get a look into her brain and learn more about her. We also didn't get to see much of her in Jedi Fallen Order. And so getting into her head, learning more about how her magic works, as well as learning more about her motivations and her stories and how she thinks is absolutely amazing. And you guys know I love Night Sister Marin. So this blew me away and made this book even more exciting that it gave us so many new details about our favorite night sister so this part is maybe a little bit more spoilery than the other part so feel free to skip forward to the next section if you want to avoid all spoilers entirely so Lots of people have been wondering if this book was going to confirm like what happens to Night Sister Marin and why we're not seeing her in the all the advertising for Jedi Survivor. And if anything, this book just left me with more questions on why we haven't seen her yet. Like watching, not watching, I guess reading the fights between with Marin and Cal fighting together with Night Sister magic and the Force all being used to fight an enemy was amazing and if she is not a companion character in Jedi Survivor I will be shocked and I will be so freaking sad because they set that up so nice in this book. So this book is a relatively quick read. For me, someone who doesn't really read books very often, like I could not tell you the last time I sat down and read a book, it was about a six to seven hour read. Obviously not everybody has the time that I had where I just sat down after work and read from chapter one to chapter 19, but I really enjoyed it. I will warn you, the very beginning was a little rough to get into the story, but once you get into the meat of the story, it's like time just flew by like I would look at my phone and like I'd go back to reading and then an hour would pass and it would not feel like an hour passed so once you get into the meat of the story and get into the vibe of the reading it's really awesome Sam Maggs also has an amazing amazing writing style that was a little unnerving at first but once you get into the rhythm of it it really allows the characters to shine through and gives you it's fun and whimsical and gives it a just a great vibe that I really enjoyed when reading. Something that I was surprised about that isn't really usually the case is that I really enjoyed the combat and the way it was written in this book. I'm not really a combat person. It's not really something I enjoy in books, especially lightsaber battles. I feel like my brain just can't comprehend a lot of them and it muddies up the lightsaber battles and the fights and everything. And so it all just becomes a mush in my head. But this book wasn't that way. I think a lot of it is because so much of the combat in this book pulls from the video game. So if you're someone like me who's played Jedi Fallen Order many, many, many times, uh, so many of the moves that you see Cal use in this game are 
lightsaber stances and force powers that you see in the video game. So it made it really easy for me to comprehend what was going on, what he was doing, and it was really cool to see him use force powers that you can use in the game, like force pushing enemies off of cliffs and more. It, it was really interesting. And something else that I loved a lot was seeing Night Sister Marin fighting and seeing her use her night sister powers her magic all of that to combat enemies something that we didn't really get to see in fallen order and we've never really gotten to see uh in any star wars canon media so it's really cool to see how her magic how she uses her magic to fight and all of the cool things she did it was i i am for sure going to be making a video in the future just covering all the cool things that we learned about Night Sister powers, Night Sister magic, Night Sister Marin, because so much, so much happens in this book. And if you're a Night Sister fan, you need to read this. You you need to. Just you need to. Something else that a lot of people were wondering about getting into this book was the romance. So much of what has been surrounding this book on social media is how saucy and spicy this book is compared to a lot of other Star Wars media. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I was for sure blushing along with the characters while reading this book. The romance is saucy, it's spicy, and if you're not into that, this might not be the book for you. Or you could just skip those parts, uh, but for me personally, I really enjoyed them. I thought it was written really interestingly, but not it didn't go too far. So it's not like super spicy, but like, it's spicy. Um, it's also for a lot of people that are wondering, uh, <laughs> pretty, pretty gay. And I love that. So that's all I kind of wanted to cover in this first little review about it. I didn't want to give more information just to avoid spoilers. This is just a general overview of what I enjoyed without spoiling anything. The character development in this book is amazing. It develops every single one of the characters in the Mantis crew, so if you love them as much as I do, you're going to enjoy this book to a certain extent, just getting to know the characters and their motivations, uh, as well as just the fighting is really interesting, especially learning about Night Sister magic and other combat things that we've just not seen before in other Jedi Fallen Order based media or Jedi Survivor media uh, and just the romance is good the story is short but sweet and I really I just overall I quite enjoyed this book obviously there were a few things that I didn't care for uh, or kind of muddied it for me but because I have such a love for Jedi Fallen Order and such a love for these characters I can 100% overlook, <laughs> overlook those kinds of things uh, just because the overall story and overall what happens in the book is really interesting and I really enjoyed it and I think it's going to really add uh, to anybody's enjoyment of Jedi Survivor. So talking about Jedi Survivor, a lot of people are wondering how important this book is to read before you play Jedi Survivor. And so for people that are kind of on the fence, not really interested in the book necessarily, but not wanting to miss out on information, let me go over some of the things that I think are going to be important for Jedi Survivor. Obviously non-spoiler, like just convincing you if you want to read the book, there are some things that I think are going to make an impact in Jedi Survivor. The first and I think the most overarching thing that is going to be super important that you get in this book that you probably won't, well, you'll probably get somewhat in Jedi Survivor, kind of give vibes of, but this will give you a more look at is the splintering of the Mantis crew. This is something that has been evident in the trailers for Jedi Survivor that there was some sort of something that split up the Mantis crew and this book gives you even more of a better look at kind of the motivations of every single one of the characters kind of where they're looking towards in the future and what they want uh, in the future and that those things might not align with other members of the crew. And so if you want that kind of look at, well, why is the Mantis not together anymore five years after Jedi Fallen Order, I would highly recommend reading this book and getting those informations because I think it's going to make what happens in Jedi Survivor, and obviously I don't know what that story is going to be yet, what happens in Jedi Survivor even easier to accept. And so if you want that kind of information, I'd recommend reading this book for sure. The next thing is there are certain things that happen to characters or items that are built or changed that 
if you want the backstory to why those things are now the way that they are, uh, you're going to want to read the book. Obviously, I'm sure it will be explained to some extent in the game, but if you want the full backstory and the full understanding of why XYZ thing is the way XYZ thing is, you might want to read the book. Also, there's a lot of combat maneuvers that I really, really hope we are going to be seeing in Jedi Survivor that are explained kind of how they came to be, how they function, how they work, that you probably aren't going to get in Jedi Survivor, but you're going to get into this book. That's all I have to say about it now. I will be making a video later on after the book comes out, a few days after the book comes out, uh, talking about my thoughts with more spoilers and more things like that. So if you get the book and wanna watch that video, that will be uploaded later. If you are also interested in reading it, if you are already sold and you're gonna buy it now or you already have it on pre-order, I am holding a book club over on Discord. The link will be below if you wanna join. It's full of freaking amazing people. We already have so many cool people in there that are so excited to read the book. Uh, so feel free to check the description below. Um, but that being said, let me know what you're kind of hoping to see in this book. If you haven't read it already, if it's not out yet, what are you wanting to see in this book and hopeful for? Um, but that being said, thank you for watching. May the force be with you. Goodbye. Also, thank you so much to Del Rey Books and Sam Maggs, the author, for sending me this copy. Freaking, I cannot believe it still.